So today we're going to be practicing um, identifying our single bond functional groups. And as you can see, this is a really complex molecule and there are some things that we don't know quite how to name yet. Uh, so I just wanna kinda go through and first of all, use my pencil and circle the things that hopefully, um, if you have your list uh, of functional groups that we've gone over so far, let's circle what we can identify. Okay, so the first one, we should be able to know what this is. We should be able to know what this is. We don't know what these are. This, 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 this. And maybe let's do this. Okay, that was a little weird. All right, so going through, hopefully, you can tell that this is an alcohol. Okay, looking at this one. This here, this is an amine, nitrogen, hydrogen. And here it has one, two, three bonds and one lone pair. So hopefully you can say there's two connections other than hydrogen. So hopefully you can identify this as a secondary amine. Looking at this one, this is another alcohol. Alcohols are always easy to find for me, so I like to kind of do those first. Okay, this here, this is another amine. Draw in the lone pair. I know those should be drawn in already, but hey. Okay, so this is an amine and it has one, two, three connections that are not hydrogen. So it's a tertiary amine. Looking at this one. This one has one, two, three connections that are not hydrogen. So this is another tertiary amine. All right, this is another amine. And since it's part of a double bond, we're just gonna call it an amine. I'm not gonna get into that uh, right now because the double bond makes it a little bit uh, confusing there, but it's got its lone pair. All right, let's do another complex molecule. One of the reasons I like these is, okay, so this is a thyroxine, that's a thyroid medication. This one up here, indenivir, this is for HIV. Okay, let me get this out of the way. It might be easier for you to, you know, just take a screenshot here. Oh, I forgot to identify this. See how this is just a, this is just a carbon chain that's sticking off? So here we have one, two, three, four. Look, it's a chicken foot. So I'm going to call this isobutyl, if you would like to call it a tertiary butyl group, you can. Okay, back down here. All right, things we know how to name. This, 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 these are all the same. Okay, there's a lot going on here, right? So look, this is an alcohol. These, this is an alkyl halide. All of these are. So this is an alkyl halide. An alkyl halide. Okay. Yes, this is T4. Okay, so that's an alcohol. Here, see how this is an alcohol embedded into the carbons? There's its two lone pairs. So this here, this is an ether. And this is an amine. And here, we only have one connection that's not hydrogen. So this is a primary amine. 
All right, that's some good practice.